Applied Science International would like to announce that the release of version 7 of the Extreme Loading for Structures software is coming up very soon. The new version has many significant new and improved features. We will illustrate these enhancements in the software through short videos and social media posts. In this video, we will talk about the new Generate Report feature. This feature enables the user to easily generate detailed reports in one step. These reports can include details about input parameters, loading sequences, and output results. This feature is very helpful to the user in two ways. First, it gives the user the ability to generate a detailed report about the built model and all of its properties. By reviewing this detailed report the user can figure out if there is any mistake in the model. It also enables the user to send the model details to someone else who does not have the extreme loading for structures software. This is the model we will use for illustration in this video. It is a 5 stories reinforced concrete structure with masonry walls and window openings at its perimeter. This structure is subjected to earthquake forces in both X and Y directions. To open the report generator window, go to tools menu and select the reports option. The opened window have two main parts. The top part is named Modeling Report Options and it enables the user to report information related to the structure views, used materials, styles, and material quantities. The bottom part is the Load Report Options part, which enables the user to report information related to the loading sequences. In this example, we will show the isometric, top, and front views of the structure. We will also add a new table, Table 2. This table will have all information about the first two levels, except the information about the slabs and the walls. So we will uncheck these two boxes. Hit apply then OK. From the bottom part, uncheck all check boxes except that for the loading scenarios. The program will start generating the report. The time needed for generating the report depends mainly on the size and complexity of the model. Maximize the report window. As you can see in the video, the first part of the report is the table of content. Hyperlinks are added to the table of content to enable the user to reach the desired section directly. It also helps the user to navigate very easily and smoothly. So now let's check the different hyperlinks of the report. Those are the hyperlinks related to the selected views of the structure. From Table 1, let's press the Level 4 Material Quantities hyperlink. This will take us directly to the table with Level 4 different material quantities. From the Loading Scenario section, let's press the Stage 2 hyperlink. This opens two figures explaining the acceleration load time history used in both the X and Y directions. I hope this clarified this new magnificent feature in version 7 of the software. For more information, please visit our website at www.appliedscienceint.com or www.extremeloading.com.